Okay, so let's go to the URL we want to edit. In this case, um, a miso paste substitute. And what you see here is the URL you want to translate. And also there's a little box right here. So right now we're on a Dutch version. You can see slash NL slash the page URL. But you can also go back to the original English version, which in this case is very handy to have on the side to see what the original should be. So when you click this, the new URL, the original English URL will open up in a new window. So you can have both side by side. You can see the title is miso paste substitute, five options you could add to your dish instead of the miso paste. So for the Dutch version, this title is probably something we would want to be editing. So to start editing, what we do is at the end of this URL, we add a question mark and then language underscore edit is one. Then hit enter. And what it does now is go to the gtranslate.io version of the site to open up the editor. Now what you can do is when you click on the or hover over the little pen icon, you can see what part of the text you can edit. Uh, so it's usually one paragraph that you're going to edit, in this case the page title, or also this entire paragraph, but you can also edit a small part of it. Um, usually you will click on the pen icon for the entire paragraph. In this case, we'll change the title, just click on here, and you can see what the uh, original title is and what the translation will be. So in this case, we'll change it to miso pasta vervanger. Always leave the number intact. Opsies, the yeah. And what I like to do is I'd like for the Dutch version or any language uh, to be in the U version in je ver versie instead of the more formal U. So in this case, miso pasta vervanger, so for opties die je in de plaats aan je gerecht kunt toevoegen. Okay, so as soon as you make a change, you'll have to have access to the G Translate back office. So it will ask you for your uh, credentials and then you can just enter them here. And once you've added them, the embedded page here says it was a success. So now you can see the new title. And what you can also see is there's this little red pen. And it means this part of the text has been changed. You can also see a red pen here. Uh, that means I've also added a new translation for this part. But uh, because this is on every page, this part, uh, it's been translated on every page of the site. So with this, you can go through all of the parts of the uh, page and edit everything that needs to be edited. So most of the translation has been done automatically by Google Translate. So all you need to do is go through every paragraph and make complete sentences out of it, uh, sentences that make sense. You can leave images as is. Uh, I might swap them out for something without text on them. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to be doing there. And, and you can leave links as is. Most of them go to Amazon and Amazon has a storefront on other countries as well, which will be automatically redirected. So you can leave, leave those intact. However, you can edit the link here. This says check it out here. If you click the outermost pen icon, like we did in the paragraph, you will see that you'll see all of the code here, uh, which m might be a bit hard to change. What you can also do is click the little pen icon or next to the link. You can change it here and then you'll get into the text, which might be a little bit more easy to, uh, to translate. So once you've changed that, it also says it's been a success. And you can click OK and you continue on. And now you can see it's changed the text for this one as well because you make global changes to the site. So every time you make a translation, especially for short pieces of, uh, of uh, content like this, it will be changed everywhere. So the more you translate on the site, the less you have to do in the future. 
this is a table of contents which will be uh, added automatically based on the uh, headings so you can leave this intact and as soon as you change a heading right here um, the table of contents is also automatically changed now once you're done with the page you can click close edit interface right here and it will revert back to the original dutch version in this case with all of the translations you made so you can maybe check the first few articles if everything is still intact but i think it should be fine okay so this is how you improve the translation that's been automatically translated by the plugin